Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So if you want to plan for the future, then you need to plan for the future. If you want to plan, plan for the future. <laughs> <laughs> so my future's already commented. So let's see what we can do. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to plant some fruit trees. And we've got, we're not just going to plant one, we're going to plant six. So I'll show you the ones that we're going to plant. I know what's happening. So it's been a couple of days since we got these fruit trees. And we got them on a special offer online. So they were a good price actually, six dwarf fruit trees for £30, so it's not bad, it's not bad at all. How much is that per tree? Huh? How much is it for £30? £30. For you? £30 for six trees, how much is it per tree? Yes. Good boy. Let's unwrap them and see what they're like. Let's unwrap them and see what they're like. Come on, go on, go on, go on. And they, they seem to be packaged pretty well. So here are our trees. I mean, um, it looks, I don't know what they've been growing in, but it looks like some some kind of sawdust. Is that the first one of those buddy? Come on. Let's get this string off. There we go, that's the string off. So let's put them out here and let's have a look. There's one. Yeah, you take. No, no, don't, don't pick it up. There's one. There's one. And these are our six trees. This one's called Fancy Decorative. So, like I said, these are all dwarf trees. Is that a stand? And these are all going to be part of our container growing uh, series. So we're going to do a series of growing food in a really small space. So probably about a six foot long bed by two or three foot wide. And I'm going to show you how much food you can actually grow in a bed that size. And it doesn't matter what sort of area you're in, you're going to be able to grow something. And this is going to be part of that series. So what we've got here, are we've got six different varieties. So my wife's bought me a diary. I'm really rubbish at um, writing things down and keeping track of stuff. So my wife bought me a diary. Um, personalized it as well mfg so thank you very much for that so can dave write? do you want to write you tell me it's right now okay dave no, i'll do the writing you do the reading okay okay so, obviously one's called williams pear so that's williams pear is that so is that a pear tree yeah this one's called the white one's called cherry stella and the yellow one's called Apple Red Delicious. Is this turquoise or blue? Uh, green. Fantasy Neck and The pink one's called Apple Fantasy Nectarine. Yeah, so that's a Stanley Plum. So it's not a bad deal at all. We've got six different varieties. We've got a, a, a two apples, a pear, a plum, a cherry, a peach, uh, and all for thirty pound. It's not a bad deal at all. So let's get planting these. So we're going to plant them all in these pots so we can keep them all outside the house and on the patio. And these are all um, ten liter, roughly ten liter pots. And that's the ones that we're going to use to plant them in. Come on then. What's this? Is it sand? It looks like sawdust. Okay. So as always, I'm going to start filling with, with my pot. I'm always going to start with wood chips as a bottom, as a bottom layer. It'll hold on to moisture, but it'll also allow for drainage because of the way it is, because of the rough particles. So you might be wondering why I've got a bucket of vegetable scraps. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add this into my mix of stuff that I'm going to comp you know, I'm going to, into my planting mix and I'm going to bury this at the bottom of my planting hole. I mean there's bones, there's skins, there's all kind of peelings in here and I'm just going to add a little handful of this stuff into each bucket. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is, this is going to be slow to break down, it'll take its time to break down, it'll feed the soil. It'll feed the plants 
as they as they need it. So it's a, a good way of free fertilizer this. And it'll save you on compost. So you've got so you've got lots and lots of free compost here. And we're not having to do any anything. We're just sticking this stuff in. There we go. Now, you don't want too much in there because you want enough space for the soil. So there we go. That's a good layer. Let's add a little bit more in there. Actually. There's bones in here. They're not, there's all sorts of stuff. So let's just finish it off seeing as though we're there. So it's a little bit rank dealing with it, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all gonna rot down and it's all gonna become lovely nice soil. So I'm gonna add a little bit of compost just to cover it up. And all of these are what this all we've done now is we've made um, basically a composting in a plant pot. And you can keep feeding with this. You know, it's a free way of feeding your plants. And I'm quite lucky because this is homemade compost. So to fill these six buckets, that's 60 litres of compost it. there. So it can get quite expensive. Come on, don't step on the trees. So the roots aren't bad. The ones that they've packed them in, the roots aren't bad at all. So this is a fantasy nectarine. So let's plant this in one of these black buckets. Come on. So the graft union is about there. Is that whenever you plant a fruit tree, you always want to plant. You always want to plant higher than the graft union. So have they? Can you hold that? Zachy wants to plant the orange one. Okay, hold that. Yeah. Let's get that in. <laughs> and all I'm using is chicken compost. So it's quite, yes, in that, just hold on to it. So it's quite unbroken down stuff. It's quite rough. Wait, 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 Zaki, wait. I'll sort it out. I'll sort him out. No, I'm, I'm sorting him out. Okay, so that's one. That's number one done. Okay, bring him here. Bring him here. Let's see. Ah, stop, stop, stop. You just. So, with this one, we'll make some space for him. Put him down. Here, hold him. Dave. Zaki, hold him. So, this is your Williams pair. So, hold him still. Hold him still. Hold him still. You're holding him? Yeah. Should we do the pair in that in that bucket? Come on then, we'll do your, your pair in that bucket. Yeah. In this one? Yeah. Okay, come on then, hold him. Are you holding him? This one goes in this okay, one. Okay, you hold it, you hold it. Come on, hold it. This one goes in this there one. We go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Squeeze it. So, don't pull it up, Zachy, okay? You, you don't want to go higher than the graft. Zachy, move your hand. And one of the good things about this is because of the comp type of compost that we're using, it is quite woody based. So it will it will bring in fungal life very quickly as soon as it starts breaking down. So it's not something that we need to worry about at all. Can I do this one? Can I do this one? Come on, Mr. Plum. In you get. Get the roots in. Mr. Plum wants to go some fruit. <laughs> Stop sucking! Dad's here! Hold on to it, hold on to it. Dad's here! Hold on to it. We're here! I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, it's fine. Ah, there we go. Dad's in the water here. So Dad's there we go. Here. Yes, buddy. Please. I'll hand up to you So that's our plum in. Nice. That's the plum in. Okay, what have you got there? This one, the pink one. What's the pink one? Corn. Let's have a look. This one, the golden this so one. So that's the apple. That's Jonah the Prince. Apple one. Jonah Prince. This is an apple, Jonah Prince. Let's get this, this one in as well. Apple, Jonah Prince. Yeah. Who's this, Mr. Apple Jonah Prince? Mr. Apple. No, this is Apple Jonah. 
you can do this quite fast but it's not it's not a big long job you can get these trees planted relatively quickly and these will go on and they'll feed us for a very long time to come I mean that's the that's the thing about trees is if you want to plant a tree you should have planted it yesterday so that's one of the things that you want to be careful to think about when you're planting trees is don't just waste time thinking about it go ahead and do it because they take a long time I mean they're, they're to establish they'll take a couple of years to establish and then they'll take and they'll last for a very long time as well right. so because they'll last for a very long time as well you don't want to just think about planting one I mean that's one of the things that I did my mistake was we wanted some Sharon fruit trees and I kept on talking to my mum yes I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it yeah, you're and a bit. 10 years later I'm still looking for the right tree so a couple last a couple of years ago, I just went ahead and bought them, oh, and now they're about this size. Okay. But at least I wow. bought them, and I'm, and I'm moving forward with them, and I'm two years Good ahead one. than I would have been if I'd have bought them ten years ago when I first said, "Let's buy them." Then at least I would have been ten years ahead. I would have probably been having Sharon fruit now. Up here. Yes, the tree goes up here. I mean, even if you haven't got space to oh, put them in yeah. the ground straight away, and you haven't got a final spot picked for them. Just get them into pots like this. It's a great time to do it now. Now while it's while the I trees are dormant, make sure you firm the tree in properly. I mean, even though it's in a pot, make sure you firm them in. Even though it's wet at the moment, it's still good to give them a water, just so you can get the soil to settle around the roots. And that's the thing that we're looking for with watering, rather than trying to stimulate any sort of life at the moment. Now with trees, just get them in the ground. I mean, even if you haven't got space to put them in the in the soil straight away. You can find these dwarfing varieties and I think if you train these correctly you can put these in a really small space I mean this is what I'm gonna do in in my uh, tiny garden I'm gonna have I'm gonna pick three of these trees and I'm gonna keep these in my tiny garden and I'm gonna show you how to train them so uh, you can have them in a really small amount of space and cram other vegetables and other fruits in here as well um, so that's one of the things that we will do but don't don't waste time just thinking about it. If you want a fruit trees, go ahead and get them in, because the longer you wait, and the further back and further behind you fall. Just get them in the ground. So these are my six fruit trees. Inshallah, these will feed us for a long time to come. So I'm going to leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.